Hey, good morning. First off, uh, please note that today's levels are for the ES September contract. So today's rollover, we're switching from the ES June contract to the September expiry. So make sure you're trading the right symbol. Uh, this is for ESU14 or ESU4, depending on your trading platform. Or if you're using a continuous contract symbol, like at ES, then it'll automatically update and uh, you should be seeing these prices, which are seven and a quarter points lower than the ES June contract. All right, so going over today's trade plan, we can see that in the overnight session, the market tested that naked VPOC at 40 quarter, got some rejection over there, and for the most part, it has just been balancing in a range. Bigger picture, we are simply stuck in balance so far. You can see that's very defined with the lower end of this balance towards 29 half to 30 half and we've simply been range bound for the last few sessions looking at NQ it's also been very range bound and um, the volatility and the range has really contracted it's setting up for a directional move and considering how well NQ held up yesterday and even in the overnight session we're still giving more edge to the buy side here the bigger picture uptrend remains intact so even if we got any pullbacks as long as we don't get a liquidation type move where um, you know you're seeing just extremely negative internals and you know just consistent momentum on the downside and wide range bars on the downside as long as that's not the case um, you know we're still going to be leaning towards long setups in this market and by default the bias is going to be bullish so as far as on the day time frame today, you know, it could be um, a bit slower because of rollover. But at the same time, if you look at the historical charts for rollover days, you'll see that, you know, sometimes we do get really big moves even on rollover. So, you know, we want to be a bit careful because of rollover and uh, be a bit more selective. But let's not discount the opportunity, right? This could still be a pretty decent move on the day time frame and um, the market could be setting up for a retest of the all-time high here which on the September contract is 47 half so the main upside objectives in the event that we hold above initial support above 29 half the main upside objectives would be the naked VPOC at 40 quarter initial resistance 39 to 40 half and then we have an open gap at 43 quarter. So this zone, 43 quarter, 44 half, would be a high odds objective if we can start turning around here. And uh, then beyond that, we just have the all time high, and then there really is no hard resistance above the all time high. So we will be keeping an eye on NQ. I'd like to see NQ holding above 37.83. So roughly the 3781 to 3783 area I'd like to see NQ hold above that and if that happens to be the case then we can get some uh, continuation up in the S&P as well um, in the event of a downside break below this 29 half to 32 half zone right so below this uh, recent low over here we could get a bit of a flush down to the next zone because there's not really a whole lot of volume that transacted over here it's a bit of a vacuum so we could get it flushed down to 2575 to 27 quarter and in the event of an extreme even 22 to 24 but that would be quite a bearish day at that point if we actually got there now once we get to 22 to 24 or 2575 to 27 quarter uh, because the overall uptrend is still going to be intact and this is still going to be part of that balance breakout we can still expect responsive buyers to be active at the support zones below so in the event that we do get a break you know we'll be a bit cautious to let the selling kind of flush out but after that the expectation would be for the market to turn around and retest this 30 half to 32 half area and then potentially head back up towards uh, 39 to 40 half uh, that'll really depend on just how weak the day happens to be uh, but uh, you know, even in the event of a breakdown, I don't think we're going to get a trend down day. It's not going to be a complete 
liquidation type move. I think it'll simply be a test of some of these support zones, followed by reversal back up to at least 30 half to 32 half, and then if we can take this out, potentially even higher. Now, in the event that we actually just balance over here and just start heading higher from here, um, then even the all-time high would be in play, because we've seen even when the market's running about 80% relative volume, um, you know we're still getting roughly eight to ten point ranges for the most part. Um, you know yesterday was a pretty narrow range day, but you know for the most part we're getting about an eight to ten point range. So if this happens to be somewhere near the low for the day, around 35, then you know we can expect a move up towards this open gap at 43 quarter, 44 half area, and uh, target that as a profit objective, and then see how bullish or, you know, how strong the market really is. Um, if NQ is making new highs, then we don't really want to be looking for any shorts. Um, you know, just use the resistance zones as profit targets on longs. Uh, but if the market continues to be balanced and there are some very clear signs that the market needs to head lower in order to find buyers, and that would be um, indicative by very weak internals, you know, the tick spending more time below zero, the price action itself, um, you know, seeing more wide range bars to the downside, trudgy moves to the upside, you know, that would be kind of the characteristics to look for if this market is going to pull back, at least in the short term. So those are really the main ideas. Um, you know, selective long setups are really going to be the preference unless there are some clear signs that this market is continuing to show weakness. So by default, we are giving edge to the buy side and um, expecting the buyers to hold it up and continue to just balance in a range or maybe take it back up towards the all-time high 47 half and then 44 half being the high odds area to get tested today. So let's see how well the buyers hold it up off the open and we'll take it from there.